Before watching this video, subscribe to Women's Web and hit the bell icon. Hi, my name is Dohia Munawar. I am a marketer and a writer with around seven years of experience in the industry. And today I'm going to share with you a few lessons that I have learned along the journey as a full-time and part-time uh, freelance writer. So let's just get started with the essentials of being a good writer. So there are uh, many popular categories including technical writing, creative writing, uh, business writing, academic writing and research-based writing. So there are many different kinds of writing and you can choose from any of this. You can choose like more than one category. That's also totally up to you. But no matter which kind of writing you choose, it's important to have a certain aspects, certain elements to be a good writer. So let's just talk about them. So the first one is reading. Reading is extremely important for you as a writer. So I'm not telling that reading is important because it's good to, uh, you know, improve your vocabulary and expand your uh, imagination. Yes, they are actually uh, very good additions. But in addition to that, reading kind of helps you reshape your writing. It helps you develop your sense of style, your style of writing. For budding writers, their priority is to write a grammatical error free copy, which is readable. Not many people think of developing their style when they're initially starting out. But when you read frequently, when you read regularly, this kind of helps a lot in building your style of writing. The next one is maintaining consistency. So many writers have told me that like they face this issue. They write one piece of article and there's a long pass before the next one comes. I mean, it happens to me too. Creative juices just refuse to flow out. So what I recommend in these kind of situations is continue writing. Like no matter what it is, you don't have to write the perfect copy. Perfection is not the goal here. You have to just bring the block out of your system. So just write. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to publish it. Just write for yourself. This habit of writing regularly can be a difficult one to like, you know, get used to. But it kind of helps a lot when it comes to like improving the efficiency of your article or increasing the speed of writing an article. The third element of like, uh, being a good writer is building a strong research base. So many moons ago when people wanted to research, they used to go to the library, comb through the cards and maybe find a few books from the stacks and like, you know, make notes and then type it out. So that used to be a long process, right? But we don't have to do all of that now. We have Google. But Everything on Google is not credible. Many writers struggle with the fact that they are not able to organize their research, they're not able to do quick research with genuine sources. So we'll have a separate video on like, you know, doing a quality research for your article. Uh, but hey, uh, meanwhile, why don't you subscribe to Women's Web and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos like this. Now let's talk about do's and don'ts of being a content writer. Coming to do's. First one, again, read and research. I cannot stress this enough. Reading is very important if you want to be a good writer. The next do is improving yourself. We are not perfect and it's totally okay to like, you know, better yourself as you go. You can't first have everything and then get started as writers. Sometimes you need to learn, uh, you need to add to your vocabulary, you need to like, you know, make your grammar better. First, identify your weaknesses and upgrade your skills. So for beginners, I would recommend like uh, tools like Grammarly. And I have also like listed a few other resources where you can uh, make your, where you can practice your grammar and like make it better. Uh, I have uh, mentioned it in the video description. Just remember that continuous learning is very important for you to become a good writer. Now we are done with the do's. Coming to the don'ts. First one, plagiarizing. Do not plagiarize. This is completely unacceptable. And many people do that and get away with it. But when a client finds out you are plagiarizing something, that 
looks very unprofessional and moreover I mean, you will be penalized if you are found out like uh, you know doing plagiarism adding the aspects that you've learned from a research into your article is still fine but do not literally copy paste that so the next don't is do not sound like a robot so in the quest to writing a copy with zero grammatical errors what writers do is they forget to add the human touch to it so they start writing like long sentences that require like reading twice or thrice to understand when someone has to read a sentence twice or thrice to understand that's not a good copy at all so in order to add a humane touch always remember again going back to reading read read all those good old books it really helps in like adding that little humane touch to your articles and the last don't is do not forget to check the copyright and like you know permissions of the images that you use so it is it can be like quite tempting to like you know see find that eye catch images and use it for your personal project but you might actually be like uh, you know committing infringement like copyright infringement that's like a fraud many images out there are not licensed to be used by others so you have to get permissions so instead of doing that there there are places on internet that provide free stock images again i have listed those in the video description for your future use so be extremely careful of the images that you use online and for research i will give you one tip one best practice you have to understand that you need to uh, divide your research into three parts you should make a pre research copy a post research copy and a final review so why is this important when you make a pre research copy you will understand what you want to write and when you write a post research copy you will understand what your research says about the topic and when you do your final review that's when you give your opinion based on the research and your understanding of the topic so this helps you articulate your research better so i hope that we all learned something from this video today so this was fun and yes subscribe to women's web and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos see you next week bye bye